Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is rebuilding a dripper. This is the Igo L. If it looks different from yours, it's because I have uh, a Ming chrome drip tip in here, black chrome drip tip, and I've oxidized it with a torch to kind of get rid of that stainless steel look and make it kind of more brass or gold looking. But in essence, it's exactly the same as any other Igo L. Um, so let's get into this guy so i've got the coil out of here i've got the, uh, the screws backed out enough that i can uh, wrap a coil around there what we're going to need for this is something to wrap our uh, our coil around what i'm going to be using is the smallest in this set of precision screwdrivers it's a 1.4 millimeter um, screwdriver um, we're also going to need something to cut our wick and cut our canthal and then I'm going to be using these uh, nail clippers for that. Going to need some tweezers to pinch our uh, coil together to make it a proper micro coil. We're also going to need a small torch and I'm going to be wicking with cotton. This is just cotton balls like organic cotton balls that you buy bada bing bada boom so this build is going to be used using um 28 gauge canthal wire um for us in canada and europe that is 0.32 millimeter wire which works out to it i think it's 18 ohms per meter okay so first things first what we want to do is torch up our canthal wire um, we're doing this to try and get this springiness out of this guy. So, I'm going to just try and get a nice glow going here. Not like from drinking or anything else. Ha 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 ha. I'm just getting it fiery red. Not too close to my fingers, I hope. Just going to torch enough of this. Um, that's going to oxidize it and give us... Uh, a little less springiness when we wrap this coil. So now we can get rid of the torch. Um, so let's get our screwdriver out. We can start wrapping this guy. Or gal. Whatever you want to call it. Um, I used to cut a piece of canthal off and then wrap it. But I would end up with a lot of waste when I did that. So I just leave a big chunk on here. Then cut it after I wrap. Okay, I'm going to be shooting for a coil that's going to be sub-ohmish, hopefully, maybe somewhere around 0.7 ohms. So I'm going to be doing five wraps today on this micro coil, maybe six. We'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to pinch this with my finger on one end, and I'm going to start wrapping with the other. I'm going to try and get this in the frame, which is proving to be difficult. So there's one wrap. There's two. We're trying to keep these tight to one another. That makes three. There is four. We'll go one more for five. Now if they're not right beside each other, it's not a problem because we can fix it. We can push them together. Okay? So don't get stressed about that. I'm going to take the nail clippers and I'm going to clip the excess off. Man, I'm jittery from the coffee I've been drinking today. Bada bing, bada boom. Cut that lead off. Okay, now we get rid of that canthal. Now all I'm going to do here with this coil is, I'm going to try and push it together a little bit. I'm just going to push those ends together and try and make them all sit side by side by side by side. Okay? You can try and pull that a bit, tighten up the legs. I like to do that. Push it against the base of my screwdriver. That's why I like using this. Makes it really easy. Okay, take it off. Then what we end up with is this cutesy little um, coil wrapped here. Really nice little coil. We can get those closer together. And how we're going to do that 
is using these tweezers. So I'll just take it and I'll pinch it. Let me see, maybe I can turn it this way to pinch it. So I just pinch it. I don't want to pinch it crooked. I want to get it straight. We're close to straight. There we go. I'm going to pinch it in between there and then I'm just going to torch it for a little bit. And by torching it, we're just going to make sure that those coils stay together. Be careful, this is a hot process. Get that glowing red hot. That's all she wrote. The fat lady will soon sing. Take that off. And it's a little bit tighter than it was. I got one leg on the outside here that seems like it's a little bit higher or out, but we can fix that pretty, pretty easily. Put it back on the screwdriver. How am I going to fix that leg? Well, I'm going to grab that or that wrap and I'm just going to tighten it down. Let's tighten that down. Okay, there we go. Now we're ready to start wrapping onto the uh, onto the dripper, onto your device. Okay, so I'm going to orient this in between the posts. I'm going to put those legs in between there because the size of this coil is so small. I want to push that base of the screwdriver butt it right up against there I'm gonna leave a little leg but you don't want a ton like you gotta be a classy broad right you want to show a little leg but not too much <laughs> okay so I'm wrapping it around I take another screwdriver and then just tighten it down on that post trying to keep a little bit of tension against that wire the coil okay now we can work on the other one I'm just gonna turn it to make it easier for me so I got a big honking camera in front of my face okay so I'm wrapping that one whoa now I want to try and keep tension whoa. I'm kind of looking around a camera and it's really throwing my perspective off. <laughs> I'm going to tighten this one. Just snug it down. There we go. We're golden. Move those legs up. Move those legs up. Now you can make some minor adjustments if you need to. Like right now I'm looking at this guy. And I can see that that wire on the center post, the positive post, isn't really flush. So I'm just going to push it where it needs to be. Right beside that post. Okay? I want to have the, the legs just coming straight out of the posts. Straight out. Nice and even. Nice and clean. Okay? And then what we end up with is that guy. Now, I like to have have it sitting very parallel like where it sticks out where the wires are into those right into those under the underneath the screws I like to have my coils sticking straight out some people will take this whole thing and push it down into the into the well just because uh, they feel like they get more juice that way and maybe they do I just prefer this method okay so we got that all in there I can move it a little bit if I want but I'm pretty happy with it so I'm gonna take the screwdriver out of there okay 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 now I clip the leads I'm sure this is gonna be pretty close to where I want it to be so I'm gonna vape it regardless you might want to leave those those leads on there just in case you want to do another wrap and I'm probably gonna you know prove a point here by making a really sh crappy one and then having to uh, 
to redo it. Oh, this thing doesn't have a battery in it. Okay, so I'm going to have to move this to a different mod here. Something that can check your ohms. If you have an ohm checker, that's great. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's on. So this thing is showing that the resistance, if you can read it, it's the second number on the top right. It is 0 0.6 ohms, which I'm really happy with. I was shooting for about a 0 0.7, 0 0.6 is great. That thing is going to throw off clouds of vapor. Um, it's not, however, going to do it on a regulated device like an EVIC or, or something like that. So I'm going to put this on my mechanical mod because that will fire it. And I'm just going to pulse this guy a little bit. And pulsing it, I can tighten up those coils a little bit more if I want. Okay. So here we go. We got it on the mech. Mechanical. And I'm just going to pulse it a bit. You'll see it's glowing red. Now what you want... You want this thing glowing from the center out, which it's doing. I'm just going to tighten that up just a little bit. You don't have to kill it. Just kind of pinch it a bit. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, are you guys getting this? Boom. Glowing from the center out. Boom. Now you want to make sure you don't have any hot legs coming off here too because that could give you a burnt taste. Um, we're not getting that, so excellent, excellent. And yeah, you can make any type of adjustments right now. If it isn't firing properly, pick at it and push at it and tweeze at it and you can fix it. Um, now what I do is I'll take some cotton and I'll peel little pieces back. I've already done that and I've kind of twisted it I just twist it in between my fingers or I'll take it in my hand and I'll just roll it, okay? I've got it twisted so that you didn't have to watch me do that for a couple minutes, right? Hopefully this works out nice and smooth, okay? Now all you want to do is you want to push it through. Okay, let me see if I can do this a little higher here. Ew, it's already looking messy. So messy. Okay. I'm going to get some assistance here. The use of these pliers. Or tweezers, I should say. Just kind of pull that through. Now you want it to be snug, but you don't want it to be super, super tight either. Just snug. That's right, i got to put this down. I also sometimes take the cotton and I'll twist it a little bit as I'm pulling it through just to kind of tighten it up. I just want to get to where it feels like there's a little bit of resistance. Then I pull it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, just to try and get it, you know, nice and fluffy around it. Here's where we use our tweezers again. I leave little rabbit ears on here, okay? So, I can clip that off. You got one rabbit ear. We will try to uh, duplicate that on the other side, okay? There. Snip that one off. That one's stuck to my hand. Get rid of those. All right, so we're looking good here. Now I can take this guy, and this is how I wrap it. I like a warm vape, so I think that the posts get warm because they're hooked up to this coil that gets red hot. So what I do is I wrap it around and through, around and through, through that little in between those posts. Man, I want to pull this off camera right now because this angle is horrible for me. <laughs> but I'm trying to help you if you're trying to build a microcoil. 
and cotton wick it. This is how you do it, okay? Or this is one way to do it. Okay, now I just jam that cotton in between those posts. I like to leave some air going all around this coil. Some people will put it underneath and make like a little pillow for it to sit on. I don't do that. I like it like this. I make this little bee kind of thing. There we go. So what it looks like from the top is kind of, there's my coil here. And it looks kind of like a little B or an 8. Now let's juice this puppy up. We're using Bobes. Bobes Bounty. Oh, it's already open. So, just going to put some juice on there. And around. And on there. And around. The good thing about this Igo well is, it has this great well that you can pour just a ton of juice in there. And it's great for when you're using cotton. Because you can kind of just fill up that well and then the cotton will absorb it. And even if you do over drip from time to time, it catches it. It won't pour all over everything. Okay, so I'm just going to let that wick for a second. Make sure that's unlocked, and this is how it's going to perform now. So it looks like it's saturated. There we go. And Bob's your uncle. Yeah, just blowing huge clouds off this. Um, so yeah, that's all there is. Put your air, your uh, your cap on. I'm going to try and align the air hole directly onto that coil that's all i do and then you could just blow these huge hellacious clouds of vapor all over the joint so give it a whirl it's not really that hard you can do these you can wrap more wraps and obviously get a higher resistance and get you know 1.5 1.8 2.4 3 ohms if you like that's just up to your preference you know um i like uh running a little smaller or lower resistance coils um, but that's just the way I like to vape so hopefully this helped you out just remember to butt out vape up and breathe easy